Hey, you two look stunning. Oh, thank Stop. you. Stunning. <laughs> Congratulations for being a part of National Treasure Edge of History. That is a major accomplishment. Thank so, you. Yes. I want to start out by having you both give me one word that describes how the world will view your characters at the end of the season. Um, <laughs> by the end of the season. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I want to say changed, but yeah. uh, something... Emmy wants a more like profound word. Like evolved. Um, yeah, evolved. <laughs> That's okay. the word. I'll take it. <laughs> um, oh, um, we all kind of evolved, do, though, right? We like do. we all really change. Uh, put a pin in it. So maybe okay. just e- evolved for uh, the both of us. Yeah, maybe we we really help grow each other. We do. Um, Agent Ross and Tasha have a really interesting dynamic where the, they're catalysts of change for each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are so opposite at the beginning of this yeah. season. She hates the FBI. <laughs> yes. And I think that they're completely punking me. Like, I don't take them seriously. Yeah. And then they end up changing each other's lives. Truly. So we're going to go evolve together. Yeah, evolved. I'm excited to see the evolution. How much of Tasha is naturally Zuri? How much of Zuri is naturally in Tasha? Because you are sassy and I live. <laughs> um, I I am very sassy in uh, real life <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, but that was that was the the coolest part about reading the uh, script at first and Tasha's um description. I felt like I didn't have to try like too too hard, you know, um, because her sarcasm was my my sarcasm and her energy was mine um however tasha is very smart um tech wise and i i know my way around a uh, computer of course at not the way that like tasha does um i was able to take some stuff that was already written down and conversations with our lovely writers um and then bringing some little zuri flair to her uh uh-huh. to help make her who she is so it's kind of like like a 50-50 type thing, I think. <laughs> I'm very Tasha, yeah. yeah. Lyndon, as Agent Ross, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I get the feeling that she may be feeling like underutilized or overlooked. Um, am I right in that feeling for the first two episodes at least? Yeah, I mean, because she comes to Baton Rouge with just shame on her shoulders, mm-hmm. right? I mean, she was top of her class Quantico. She was put on the highest level job in D.C. you can get out of Quantico. And then she made a mistake. She made mm-hmm. one mistake and she got kicked down to Baton Rouge and now she has to completely rebuild her professional reputation. So we've got that going for her. She's a young female in a very male forward profession. You're going to have to maybe work a little bit harder. Um, so she, yes, she feels like she's got a hunch about something and the boss who's giving her a shot isn't letting her follow that lead. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, she feels like she has a lot to prove. Like she needs to clear her name and like, be known as a good agent again. Um, so it just so happens that the first case that crosses her desk is something about a, a treasure and a kidnapping. And um, that's a real uphill battle to gain some respect. <laughs> um, but yeah, she does. She feels a little underutilized. So she's just going to do it on her own. Well, you both said that evolution is the theme. So do you think we'll be seeing a breakthrough on Agent Ross's side? Absolutely. She goes through a whole journey um, in this following, following these kids around and wondering like who's friend, who's foe. And then she might end up becoming an ally to them. So she definitely has, has an arc. We love a good plot twist. Well, thank you. (laughs) Thank you both so much. And congratulations again. (laughs) 